It is mentioned in the Holy Quran that Prophet Musa السلام, entered a city where he found two men fighting, one from his followers and the other was his enemy. When his followers saw Musa السلام, he cried out to him for help against the one who was from his enemies. So Musa السلام, went and struck him with his fist and killed him. Then the Prophet Musa السلام, said, This is Shaitan's deed. Surely he is an open enemy who leads others astray. Then he said, My Lord, inni dhalamtu nafsi, faghfirli. The common translation reads, My Lord, I have surely been unjust to myself. Therefore, forgive me. So Allah forgave him. He is the forgiving, the merciful. So how does this story make sense if the prophets are supposed to be infallible? Firstly, what Prophet Musa did was not a crime. He went to help an oppressed person and in the process struck a blow with his fist at the oppressor. This ended unexpectedly in the death of the oppressor. Helping an oppressed person is a praiseworthy act in itself. Secondly, Prophet Musa's words that this is shaitan's deed does not necessarily refer to his own actions. It refers to the mischief started by the oppressor himself. Thirdly, as for the sentence that, My Lord, I have surely been unjust to myself. This word comes from the word volama, as explained in the last lesson, and it has four meanings. To misplace a thing, to oppress, to come to harm, to make haste before time. So we have to use the right meaning at the right time. Its correct translation would be, My Lord, I have surely put myself into harm. How did he put himself into harm? After the accidental death of the oppressor, Musa السلام, was chased by the people of Pharaoh. If this is true, how do you explain the sentence after that which says, Forgive me, and Allah forgave him? These two words come from the word Ghafara, which could mean to forgive, to watch over someone, or to guard someone, or to cover something, i.e. protect it. When Musa السلام, accidentally killed the oppressor, Musa found himself in harm and trouble from the people of Pharaoh. So Musa prayed and said, Faghfirli, guard me and protect me. Faghfara la, and Allah guarded him and protected him. The prophets have to be infallible for the same reason for which they were sent, to guide and lead the people towards God. Sending prophets that made mistakes would have defeated this very purpose.